Okay, today I want to talk to you for just a second about the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verses 4, 5, and 6. If you haven't watched our previous videos, be sure you go back and check those out so you get everything in context. Context is king, and it's a really important thing for you to understand, so we've kind of set the context here. So Abraham has, in verse 4, departed um, from Haran and has moved on to the Promised Land. So he went Ur, Haran, Canaan, promised land. Listen to what verse 4 says. So it says, So Abram departed as Lord instructed, and Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran. Okay. This was partial obedience. When I go back up and I look at what God specifically told him, he told him to leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family. But yet here it says he took Lot with him. And that was not what God had intended. And here's the deal. Lot will cause him nothing but problems. Lot will be a problem from beginning to end. He's going to have to actually go rescue Lot. We'll get to that eventually. He's just going to go rescue him. So there's a major problem in this because of partial obedience. When we partially obey God, we're opening the door to deal with issues. God doesn't want our obedience a little bit. God wants our obedience fully. Now, it doesn't mean that we're going to be perfect, but that's what God is asking us to strive for. He's asking us to strive for perfection and to not settle for less. And so here, Abraham had a specific thing told to him that he absolutely rejected and refused to do. I understand he felt bad for Lot and he wanted to bring Lot with him and he wanted to take care of his nephew. But that's not how this worked. Lot didn't need to be taken care of. God would provide for Lot just like he was going to provide for Abraham. So Lot was not going to be a blessing to him. And as they traveled to the promised land itself, that's an issue. It's not an easy trip, okay? We're not riding down, you know, interstates. We're not going, you know, setting the cruise on 80. He is having to move with these people. And look at what it says specifically in verse 5. It says, He took his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, and all his wealth, his livestock, and all the people he had taken his household at Haran and headed for the land of Canaan. So he brings all of these things with him. But he brings Lot. He brings this family. He brings wealth. Abraham was a rich guy. Okay, Abraham was not a poor guy. We kind of picture him a lot of times walking around, you know, with like um, one camel and a donkey, and Sarah and Lot was tagging behind them with another donkey. No, no, no. This was a caravan. It was difficult travel, yes. But Abraham, as we'll see, actually had a 300-man army with him. So Abraham was a very wealthy individual as he, as he travels. And he heads for the Promised Land. He heads for Canaan. In verse 6, it says that Abraham traveled through the land as far as Shechem. He set um, up camp beside the Oak of Moray. And at that time, the air was had by the Canaanites. So he's told by God, here is this land that I'm going to take you to and show you. This is going to be your land, and you're going to be the father of a great nation. Well, he gets there, and it's inhabited. That has to be a challenging thing for him. He's traveling. He's living in, this, he's living in tents, and he's traveling and looking at this, and he travels from, from north to south, and he's looking this land over, and he camps. And he looks around and he says, How am I ever going to possess this? How my descendants ever possess this? This was a moment to test his faith. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. We'll see you soon. Hope you join us for our next video.